it's it's really nice, right? It's really nice. Yeah. The coffee, the Saigon coffee. It's really nice to try new type of coffee. It says a Vietnam coffee. I don't even know that Vietnam meat coffee. You know, whatever. This is coffee. I love coffee. I love cafe. How long has it been? I think it's around nine months to eight months already since my last vlog, and um, there's a lot of things happened in my life. And uh, uh, to make long story short, I got a job. It's, it's just a life update for you, uh, for those of you who have been um, in this channel for so long. So I appreciate for you to still um, regularly watch my videos. Even I don't really upload that regularly, but you know, at some things happen. I kind of busy. I try to I try to make time. And because of the COVID things, I can't really go out for vlogs, so I'll try a few things, walk around, um, make a review of the movie and stuff like that. It doesn't really work, but it's okay. Yeah. I'll, I love to try a few things here and there. I like to describe my job. It's like a, a generally a campaign coordinator, which means that I'll coordinate a campaign that revolves around IT. You know, if, if they want to do some webinars, we work with a lot of clients like um, Red Hat and Microsoft. And if you are in depth in this in this field, you know, you know those you know the stuff that we do. I got to give you one example uh, for the campaign that I've been working on. It's a Jack Workflow Low Code Thon campaign competitions. It's a campaign. It's a competition. The idea is our company is Jack Workflow and Sunway University decided to do a competition for low code. Low code actually where just just kind of brief explanation, it kind of go deeper than that, but as a brief explanation, it's like you can code even though you don't know how to code, that's low code. So you can just use a drag and drop and stuff and you can create your apps. Probably there's a lot of people out there going to say that, hey, that's not coding. All right, yes, yes, basically technically it's not. It's not like you're going to punch in that key, try to find which semicolon that you are unable to put and that you forgot to put that you, that make you stress and got into a headache where you can't sleep for three days and three nights and stuff like that but it's fine i mean i mean let's say uh, if you do it if you can attract those people to do things that hard i mean what's the harm of it uh, you know it's, it's not wrong i mean if you can attract people to start learning difficult stuff but also this is the first campaign that i handled that um, in a competition competition mode is, 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 is that right? Um, vocabulary mode, I don't know, competition. Yeah, it's a uh, competition. Previously, I've handled a few webinars and blogs, publishing blogs, briefing notes and stuff. That for the competition, this is the first time. So I don't know how to do it. But I get my boss. You know, I, I have people around me that have uh, been helping me. And, and that's good. That's good. That's really good because I know now if I get another competition type of campaign, I can do it. So we have a couple of, uh, a few, several of entries for the competition from Sunway University. So we are targeting some universities, um, students to come and compete with each other. The thing is about the competition, we don't really, hey, let's start the competition. And we start, no, we still need to do the opening ceremony. It's a webinar because we can't really, at the time, we can't really um, go out and you know everything is done virtually these days so we do we are doing a webinar it's an opening webinar I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, webinar here and there and safe to say I'm confident to get that one right but we can only plan we messed up yeah the thing is we messed up and um, at least uh, actually uh, there's the button right there that's supposed to be a broadcast button but I don't know it's a glitch malfunction or whatsoever so I cannot find that button. My boss um, Andrew has been taking over the webinar from me because of that so I, I supposed to do the in, I supposed to do the opening and then I did but also um, moderating the whole webinar since I've been doing the, the opening so after that, he's taking over from me because, yeah, he feels the need to, and I'm okay with that. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Fitri. Uh, let's go for the next technical hurdle, which is, can I display my screen?
Um, <laughs> so let's give this a go. Uh, do we have success? Can you see my screen? Even though I, I'm doing nothing, you know, it's not really a disaster, but yeah, I feel the need to do things on perfection. But it happens. We need to move on. Flash forward a two weeks later, um, we got this a uh, lot of submissions coming in. We gave them two weeks, which um, I really, really, I do. I feel that it's a short uh, time frame. Feel like it's a short timeline because they are first of all, they're students. They need to keep up with their studies, uh, probably examinations, probably assignment, thesis, and stuff. So, being able to do that in two weeks, I think it's it's pretty remarkable. Let me get some coffee first. Do you prefer to drink it with straws or do you prefer to drink it like right away from the cup? Let me know in the comment section. So we have this uh, representative from Sunway Universities. We have this representative from our company, which is will be our boss. And we will have this representative from Get Workflow Street Judges to evaluate, evaluate, validate, to judge these submissions. The criteria that they base it upon is uh, the originality of the idea, how you implement the Jet Workflow applications, and how you play around with it. Um, let's say like to be creative and stuff, and it's, 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 it's up to them, you know. We will, we will evaluate that. The problem solving, how effective your solution, how effective your apps can solve the problems, right? So also the pitching because they need to send this video and they need to explain uh, how to navigate around the apps, you know, and stuff like that. We'll really that, you know. We, we, we need to encourage people to talk in front of the camera. <laughs> like me, it's redemption time. I failed previously and I failed miserably even though uh, my boss said no, it's okay. But no, it's not okay. Because I've been handling a few webinars and I feel that I have the need to be perfect in every webinar. Not really perfect, but to be smooth, you know. So it's redemption time. So we will announce the winner for the competition on the closing webinar. Let's go. Let's go. We just confirmed it yesterday, we have a little party here and there. So, this Saturday, it's just me, there's nobody around. Because you know, um, this office is just new, it's just me, nobody else. Not even my boss. Even though, I'm still going to make sure that the women don't go completely well. And, because this is just a closing webinar, and it's my campaign, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to walk you through it, how we're going to do it. All right, so let me get some coffee. Let's see what we have. Coffee, uh, fire energy, and sushi. Sushi in the morning. But sometimes instant coffee works very well. Sometimes. Sushi. 
at 10 and it's 916 I'm not sure if you can see it right there bam 916 so I'm, I'm not a pro especially in webinar but I've been in charge of a few couples severals I said severals severals webinar and it's not my first time handling a webinar alone I have my script here so what I'll do actually is just to grab some coffee rehearse some script because it's not something that I need to do freestyle all right so even though I can try to do that but no the thing the thing about speaking is actually it's a virtual speaking it's much much different than um, the presentation I had during the university days where I need to speak in front of 60 70 people at the peak at most and that was much much more terrifying but the thing is because you are representing your company and you don't want to mess up if you messed up the feeling of guilt will be there what do I do to stay calm I'm not calm I just accepting that the fact that I am nervous because of course a few things that you don't want to have some malfunction on the platform or whatever you do and the thing that I do is just yes Yes, because I've done uh, several rehearsals before this and I hope things are going okay, you know, like um, what they say, fight like you train and train like you fight, I'm going to do the same. And because today's webinar is not a really a corporate webinar or a standard webinar where we need to be a professional all along, well, well we, are, we are always be professional but being formal, I think that's the right words, that's right, is that the right vocabulary? professional um no i mean uh, formal but yeah whatever but i'll 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 try to take it easy and try to play something if you want to do something and you're nervous all right let's say it's so a public speaking or my case webinar just do things that make you feel comfortable all right if you messed up it's okay but it's not okay is it okay Just playing with the caps, so just playing with the caps. So, I would like to add the additional key for handling your nervousness to whatever it is a webinar or, or public speaking, right? So, the thing that I do that because people are very different, you know, you can you can see see a lot of people, you can find it on YouTube or on Google. What is a uh, let's say athlete or something, you know, when before the match, before the competition, what, what are they doing, what were they doing. To calm themselves down for me, I always pump myself up. I say I say something that encourage myself as I feel myself with the positivity. Like future, you can do it. You know you're the best. It says nobody can are better than you, and stuff like that. And and that's good. And it works for me. That's why I do it. And also I listen to a very upbeat song. You know I, I don't listen to the melodic and um, ballad song before an, an event. You know. Uh, I need I need some I need some hip hop. You know, I, need, I need some some metal, some some you know you know stuff stuff like that. So it can keep pumping me up, and that's how I I handle it. Also, confidence and knowledge to do it all the time. Confidence, knowledge, confidence and knowledge. It sounds weird, right? If, if I do it two times, you know, it's like it's like I'm I'm picking which shot will look cool. You know. Today we will kickstart our webinar with the overview of the competition from Disruptive Tech Asia's group publisher Andrew Martin. And after that we will have Associate Professor Dr. Angela Lisio Hong, Information Systems and Data Analytics Program Leader for Sunway University, 
to give her observation on the competition from Sunway's perspective. See that, see that, it, it happens again, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you hear that, you hear that? Listen carefully. That, that sound is from the air conditioner that messed up. I, I really have no idea why it wants to mess up at that moment. But, but you see that me covering my earphone, right? The, the, the speakers that capture the voice, I try to cover that up because I don't want it to, I don't want the, um, I don't want the audience to listen to it, you know? I want to do it perfect. Final things I'd like to say is the, the man that started and is moderating the session today, he's one of our campaign coordinators at Asia Online Publishing Group. Um, I wanted to give him a personal thank you because he's taken his weekends to, um, he works hard enough for us during the week and he's taken his weekends to work on this uh, low code a um, and he's really put a lot of effort into making it really successful alongside the uh, Analytics Society. And if you wanted to show him your thanks, he would love you to subscribe to his YouTube channel. You can see it there. Um, if you just uh, if you just search on uh, on the YouTube name at the top and subscribe to his channel, he will be over the moon. So uh, that's my personal thanks to Featree. And this mentioning my YouTube channel, and I'm pretty shocked at the moment because I was like chilling back then because it, because it's not my turn yet. I know I know the pace, and it was like, <laughs> and he was mentioning my YouTube. I was like, really. <laughs> Well, well, uh, I haven't, I haven't really got the chance to thank him, but yeah, thank you for promoting, promoting my YouTube channel. Because, because he said that's the least he can do. I mean, he's done a lot for me, so I couldn't expect any more or any less. So yeah, thank you. Kind of applications we're going to have the chance to judge. And so I wish everyone good luck. Yes. Thank you so much and I'm really looking forward to what you guys are going to create, okay? I, I can't wait to see the outcome of it. Yes, so all the best. So the next few types I'm going to be talking about is GPS insert. Okay, so here you can see GPS insert two type. The few name I'm going to just put like GPS. And that video is good from Erica. You see that the video is really, really good. You know, so there's, there's a lot of talents out there, you know, on, on, on creating videos and stuff and because things are getting more, you know, millennial. I don't know if I put that right, but yeah, there's a lot of talent. This, this video is really good. We'd like to announce the winner for this Kodathon, uh, Team Purple. All right, congratulations to Serena, Casey and Lee Sien Hui. Well done, well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, thank you, Jin. So the winner, Team Purple, is the winner. You know, um, Andrew told me something like, when the three judges got together, they, they feel like um, they unanimously pick Team Purple as the winner. So they pick the winner first. So that that's how good. Team Purple is the app that they develop is called Test Collab, so it's, it's like an all-in-one solution to the same issues. You know, like the, the, this app is um, promises to do the enhances customer service, you know, and stuff like that, and enable customers to voice their concerns. You know, like it specifically focus on Tesco. Like if I let's say the customer want to say something about. Um, I don't know, it's, it's not about the shop, or I mean it's about the Tesco as a whole if they don't really like the, the environment on the Tesco or something so they can complain it there. For its contribution to the company, by this, Tesco can sustain a high performance culture within the organization. Finally, Tesco Lab can keep track of Tesco's sustainable development goal activities, hence lesser time is spent on routine work which can drive greater productivity. And allow the company to monitor and evaluate employee performance regularly. But that's really good because they have an app I can't really see. I don't know, I, I never worked in one of these retail shops before, so I don't know. I have less knowledge on that, but the idea is to help the authority of the company to monitor the employees. It's, it's really good, you know, like, the attendance or something like that, you know, how, how long you have been working and yeah, just keeping things, keeping keeping tabs of the things, keeping things organized, you know, that's that's pretty handy, 
you know you don't you don't need to write any everything on the list of paper the idea behind this is uh, they, they found that Tesco is lacking in certain aspects such as customer communication and food waste management this is not a dig at Tesco at all you can always rely on people to see what what the things that you can improve this is not a dig it's actually about your you know your attitude you know if people say something about me if I take it as a positive um, feedback or negative feedback so if I take it uh, as a negative feedback, it will be criticism and a dig at me. If I take it as a positive feedback, it's like constructive criticism. So that's what they do and they, they saw that and they capitalized on that to create their apps. Whether Tesco want to, you know, whether Tesco took notices or not, I don't know. But they should. For the students to develop this in the midst of examinations, in the, in the midst of, um, you know, study, study week, in the midst of uh, lectures all day long that's pretty good because you know they might you, you, you cannot have a mind like me you know and compared to them because they've been your mind has been trained to think thing and solve the problems it's really great okay, also these tesco lab applications can be used by a lot of other retailers as well to keep track on their company performance right let's say if other companies is just not just Tesco, or I just probably say, I don't know, Uniqlo probably want to use this. I think it's okay. I think the idea is there. I don't know if they have it already, but why not try? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's no harm in trying, right? I finished all the things that I did, and it's a pretty fun and exciting campaign. So far, I've been handling because I have no problem communicating there's, there's a few of these problem things that I don't understand but my boss um, Andrew has been helping me from day one of the developing and he actually encouraged me to do this um, video so the camera that uh, I'm using right now not not the GoPro one the GoPro one is mine so the camera is I'm using right now is actually the Canon M6 Mark II the, ca the type of camera that I want to buy in the future for my vlog with the things have been opening up lately you know, we can travel, we can uh, not outside the country, obviously, but we can actually travel in the state and these things are pretty opening up. I'm looking forward to what I can do in the future. Let's see how it goes. I think that's it for today. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool experience. It's a pretty cool experience. There's a lot of things that you can learn, you know, like managing things, keeping things in tab, keeping things in order. That's why I learned for today from, from the from the apps itself, from the competition itself and also from the from the from my experience, nine months experience, I don't know, eight, nine months since I've been working, experience as a, one of the campaign coordinators. So keeping things in tabs. Yeah. So I need to start keeping things in tabs and start to what you call it post regularly. I'll try. I'll try to do that. Post regularly. Post regularly. So yeah. But but you know what? I like Americano in the morning, and if it's uh, like a casual occasion in the evening, I like latte more. I don't know why. Keep it keep it one cup a day. Keep it one cup a day because you need to sleep. And sleep is underrated, you know.